Hey, how's it going? And today we are looking at triggered messages in Unreal Editor for Fortnite and we're using the message type. You have to use the message type if you're going to be using verse. And so we're using the billboard device and verse with the message type to make this happen. I know that sounds like a lot, but it's really not. So this is what we have. I'll go start the game. I've got this billboard device up here and I've got a trigger device and essentially I have 40 seconds to trigger this. But if I come across the trigger, I get a custom message saying, let's face it, you're awesome. And then in 40 seconds, that whole sign's gonna go away. So you could use this to put messages all throughout your game. I have this just time to disappear in 40 seconds, but you could configure it any way you wanted to have it configured. But this tutorial primarily relates to the message type, which was really caught me off guard and I, I had to really get into the documentation and read about it to understand what it was. So hopefully this video will help you and I'll be back in just a minute. The message type is a special type of type, I guess you could say. And if we come here, we can read just a little bit about it. A message in verse can contain local independent text. It's like something you'd hear in an advanced philosophy class, like here, if you read right here. Constructing a message with the localizes specifier produces a message that is equal to itself and unequal to all other messages, regardless if the default text is the same between the two messages. So kind of put that in your pipe and smoke it. Equal to itself and unequal to all other messages. Is that the same as unique? This sentence makes a little more sense. You can turn the text into a displayable string at runtime by using the localize function, which formats the text according to your current locale. And so there's all that. What I can tell you from having direct experience with this, if we look at the code, is that we have to initialize it up here at this level at more global level and not here on the local level. If you take this line of code and copy it and put it down here, you're gonna get a, an error message. And if you take this out, you're gonna get an error message. So this message type pretty much goes hand in hand with this localizes, but it has to be instantiated up here, not within a function. This type allows us basically to put a string into it. And then we can give it this variable name and that's all you really need to know. And then once you have this, you need it to be able to set text on your HUD devices and on the billboard device. Jump into the scene right now, I'll show you what I've got. I've got just one billboard device and a trigger. That's all we have. It's just a default island scene. So we got a trigger and a billboard device. And then we have our verse code here, almost ready to go. So we've created an instance to that billboard device and an instance reference to the trigger device. And now we have the message type that we've set with a string and then we've given it this reference name. Now, if I hit control and click into the billboard device, which is very similar to the HUD message device, you'll see that we can set the text with this method, but it requires an input a parameter of the message type. So if we don't send a value with the message type, it will not accept whatever we send it. So it requires a message type to set the text. So there's no way around using this. If you want to set the text in verse to the billboard device, you have to use the message type. And if you use the message type, then you have to set it up here and you need to use the localizes. And if you try it any other way, it won't work. That's the simple way to say it. <laughs> so then what we do here with this line of code establishes a connection between this up here, this my trigger reference, trigger device reference, and this function down here that I've written. This function down here, it requires an agent parameter in this whatever function you write to receive this. So when we hit the trigger, when we walk across the trigger, it's going to call here and it's going to trigger the billboard, my billboard up here to set the text to my message, which is here. And then it's going to go to sleep for 40 seconds. And then we're going to call my billboard and hide the text because that's one of the things that we can 
do with this is if we come in here, you can see we can hide the text, but notice that hide text doesn't require any arguments or parameters. So we can just call it with blank parentheses. But here, we have to use this message type. So what I'm trying to say is there's no way around this message type. You have to use it. If you're going to set the text from within verse on a HUD device or a billboard device, you've got to use the message type. It's, it's required. So anyway, now that we got that hopefully explained, I'm just going to come into my verse and build the code. And then I'm just going to come up here and drag this onto the scene. And then all we have to do is put the billboard device to the billboard and the trigger to the trigger. And then I'll be back as soon as it's done launching and we'll see if it works. Okay, we're back and it looks like we're ready to go. So we'll start the game and essentially I have 40 seconds to set off the trigger. So we come in there, there's our billboard device and I walk over here. And as soon as I hit the trigger, my text should display. Sorry, let's face it, you're awesome. So you could put these all over your game. And you don't need the verse code to be able to do that, but by using the verse code, you do have a lot more control over how things come on and come off, and you really do. So it's worth your while to learn verse because you'll have unprecedented control over everything. I'm just waiting to see if the billboard device goes off, and it does. So that's it. That's all I had for today. I hope you found this somewhat helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I will talk to you next time.